Today, I'm going to show you how to perform an indoor walk testing with the Ransel solution. This is the Ransel app. Now, let me first enable the um, indoor map testing feature. So now that's enabled. Now, I have to identify my location and insert the floor plan as well. So here I get a notification that there is no default floor plan selected. I'll just click on OK. So I'm going to identify my location. Now I'm at my ground tech limited. So I have found my location. So this is my current location. So now I have to insert the floor plan. So now I will select it from the gallery. I had previously captured the floor plan image with my camera. So now it looks like the floor plan has been inserted but it doesn't uh, perfectly align with the uh, builder, building dimensions. So for that uh, I will just uh, make a quick edit with this option. Now. Uh, so I'll just uh, move it a bit towards right, yes, I'll just rotate it towards the left so that it comes, so that gets aligned. Yes, and a bit more right and down. So you can see, uh, you should make sure that both the pointers coincide. Yes, so it coincides. Now a bit a slightly towards the left is interrogated. Okay, it looks parallel. Now I'll have to increase the width. So, so I have to decrease the width here a bit and uh, increase the height. Now, looks like the uh, the dimensions of the building perfectly align with the dimensions of the floor plan. So now this is done. I'll just save it so you can uh, give it a name. I'll just give it as my ground tech. So this is in the first floor. So I just uh, give it one. So I'll submit it. Now this has been uploaded to the Ransel Cloud Server which can be used uh, later on uh, whenever needed. Now that, that is saved. Uh, so you can also uh, select from various flow plans from this list. So these are all in the Ransel Cloud Server, you can select from different flows, different areas, different locations, all the flow plans here. Uh, that's about it. Now, uh, let me set it as default. Now, the flow plan has been set as default so that we can start performing the test. Let me go back to the app interface. I'm going to do a few tests here. So, let me give it as indoor sample test just click on ok so i'll just give one iterations let me do a ping test and a speed test now i'm going to uh, start the test uh, the test hasn't started yet uh, because i need to tap the location i'm currently at the floor so i'm currently uh, near the reception area i'm just going to click here so now the test has commenced you can see that the pink test is running the speed test is also running as i move across the building i try to cover different areas of the building so the test is running I'm just walking inside as I tap on my location. You 
seems like the uh, download speed is very low here so that it's taking a lot of time now the test seems to be done now I can just visualize the test results you can see that the pink test so the success rate is 100% and also the speed test you can see the results here uh, you can see that the download speed average is 899 and the upload speed average 3.455 mbps you can see the download throughput and and time graph the average upload and download okay, you could also export these test results You could also visualize the test results on the indoor map. You can see here. You can also zoom it a little bit. Yes. So now you can see that the network is 4G, so it's denoted by green uh, here. So now I'll change it to the coverage view. So it seems that the coverage is uh, very poor and the and there is no coverage at all in most parts of the building and since i've done a, a download test so just show a download test so here you can see that the download test so you can see that uh, it's mostly yellow so the download throughput values is 0.4 mbps to 1.19 mbps that's pretty average So similarly upload tests you can see that's, that, that's about it now I'll uh, in the next video I'll show you how to uh, visualize the test results on the Ransel dashboard thanks for watching have a great day